Hi, my name is Chaya Sara Benowitz. I'm 27 years old. I live in Borough Park, and I'm part of the Arnava family. After my brother passed away, it was a very emotional time for me, and I was not on a very big um, high, and I actually felt very, like, you know, rejected, like, you know, I do so much for different people, and all of a sudden, like, my brother passes away. It's just shocking way. It was very, very, very painful for me to go through it. And the most amazing thing was that I found her now. I feel like my brother just like said, Hashem, give somebody to Chai to keep her, to be able to hold on to her spirit. And I feel like when I came to Arnava, that's when all of a sudden I it was able to feel like a new opening, like, like, like a butterfly being able to really like come out of my cocoon, to be able to really fly and be able to be the person that I want to be. So I've met up with all kinds of people and they've asked me, so tell me, how does Arnava work? Is like $20 an hour, $20 a night? Like what to speak to a rabbi, you have to pay money? Do you have to like pay money for the meals? So I'm like, no, it's free. Like, what do you mean it's free? What do you mean it's free? You don't have to pay a penny to come to this every single night? I said, no. I can't imagine that. I said, come check it out for yourself, come see what it is. And every person that I've inspired to come to Arnava has said, I can't believe this, I'll pay so much money to come here, even if it's expensive, I will come anyway, just because it's so incredible. Everyone needs inspiration. Inspiration is what gives you life, and Arnava gives you life. And everyone needs life in order for you to be able to go on in life and be able to accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish. And sometimes there are girls who aren't married and need a place to come to know that like, I'll find other girls in the same boat as me and I won't feel like, oh, I'm not married and I don't belong. They'll just feel like, everyone just feels like they just fit in. And everyone who comes here, if you come enough times, you get to really feel like you're part of this awesome, incredible family. And I've been to other places. I've never seen a place like Arnava, never in my life. On our Shabbaton, people have come to me, you know, because people criticize and have said to me, why so lavish? Why in a beautiful hotel? Why in beautiful rooms with such delicious food? And I remember what Rabbi Gamliel said, are you treating my daughters like your own? And when the girls come out of this, they say, wow, I, I, never, I, never, I never was in such a bed or such a hotel. I, mean, I never had such food. And I know that Hashem is smiling. And there was one girl this past Shabbaton, just to show you. She came over to me, she said, Rev. Wallenstein, I, um, something's wrong. I said, what's wrong? She said, I, I left my room in the morning, my bed wasn't made. I went to shul, I came back upstairs, my bed is made. Who made my bed? I said to her, it's a hotel. There's a chambermaid. She said, a what? I said, you were never in a hotel in your life? She said, no. I said, in a hotel, they make your bed. She was like, that's amazing. That's why we make the Shabbaton that we make. I had heard about the Ornava Shabbaton through a couple of friends, and I decided to try it. I had gone to singles events in the past, but I had never gone on an Ornava Shabbaton before. So I went, and I had a great time. I met girls from all over. It was very uplifting, spiritual Shabbos. And then Matzei Shabbos, we had a concert, and there was also a Meet the Shabbos. So I waited online with a lot of girls, and um, that's where I met Lisa Elephant. And she set me up. A month later, she called me up, and that's how I met my husband. A lot of girls have told me that they feel that they'll go to a Shabbos and that the name will just get uh, buried under a pile of a hundred other names. Um, we at Arnava, we look at every single girl and we try our best. Um, we follow up with them and we just try to make each girl feel special and unique. I've had call, calls about Shaduchim for girls. You know, uh, she's an Arnava girl. Do you know, can you tell me something about her? So we've really become a place that girls can relate to and they can call their own. The idea of the seminary, the Teres Nava, is to create an environment for the girls of all different backgrounds to feel the seminary experience, it's not Israel, but the seminary experience to get closer to learning, to get closer to serving Hashem in the right way, uh, to feel comfortable, and to walk away from the year, or to walk away having grown. It's very important that uh, girls, after they come back from seminary, from Eretz Yisrael, in the seminaries in Eretz Yisrael, you have every single day a Rebbe, a Mora, someone to speak to. 
to ask your questions, to tell them your feelings. And when the girls come back from seminary, they miss that very much because their teachers are in Israel. They can't call them all the time. The six, seven hour you know, change. And they're looking for a Rebbe. They're looking for a Mora and they're looking for someone to speak to. I think that we fill that gap very, very, very much. People may not realize that there is a seminary here right in Brooklyn for the, for the girl of all different types of, of backgrounds. And they may dismiss it right away by saying, oh, I don't know, there's no such thing. And the reality is that it, it, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for a number of different types of girls. I'm Jacqueline Boyd. I'm 22 years old from Overland Park, Kansas, and I'm part of the Ornava family. I just graduated from the University of Arizona this past May, and I was looking for a post-college seminary I could attend in the United States. And this was the only one that I could find. It took months and months and months, and for Baltus Shuvah girls my age, there is not another seminary in the U.S. It's much more of a learning-centered environment. It's not judgy, it's not finger-pointy, it's not, well, this is what you should be doing. They lay out the facts, they give you the source, they, they really want you to learn, and through your learning, you're able to apply tons of different practices of Judaism to your life in a way that you're comfortable with, in a way that you can pace your own growth. I liked learning from girls that had grown up from their whole life and also not feeling left out because there are tons of girls that are in the exact same shoes as I am. So it was nice to see how everyone was accepted. Everyone could, could bring something to the situation and everyone could learn together as one big family. Everyone says that girls and women are the building block of the Jewish family. And it's really, really important that we give these girls and, and these women as much as we can as far as learning, as far as support, so that they can go home and they can be those building blocks and they can be the change in the Jewish community. And Ornava, Teres Nava, is doing that more than I've ever seen an organization do before.